how to convert PDF to JPG, PNG, or TIFF image file formats online for free. On my desktop, I have a PDF file called Lorem. This is the PDF that I'm going to be converting today into an image file format. I'm just going to double click on this file to open up a PDF reader just to show you what the PDF file looks like and how many pages it has. I'm just going to quickly change the magnification here to 100% so we can see the PDF file a bit better. And as you can see guys, it's just a scan of two pages made up of pure Lorem Epsom text. To convert this PDF file to an image file, the first thing we need to do is open up our browser and navigate to the following URL address, which is adobe.com slash acrobat slash online slash pdf dash two dash jpg dot html. I'll put this link in the video description below. Once you're here, you'll be on Adobe Acrobat's convert to PDF to JPG website. Here you can select a PDF file or drag and drop a PDF, then convert to JPG, PNG, or TIFF file formats. So I'm going to select a file by left clicking on the select a file button. Once done, a small window will open if you're on a Windows PC. Here you'll need to look for your PDF file that you want to convert. Of course guys, my PDF file is on my desktop and as you can see, the Lorem PDF file is right here. So I'm just going to left click on it to select it and then left click on open. Your PDF file will then be uploaded. And as you can see, that is the case. And if we look to the bottom left hand corner, you can see it says convert to and you have the option to select an image file format from the drop down list by clicking on this arrow. You have JPG, PNG, or TIFF. I'm going to select JPG, which is currently the default selection. Once you've selected your image format to convert to, click on convert to JPG to start the conversion process. Once your conversion has completed, you'll see a preview of your image files on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, you'll have the option to download a zip file containing your converted PDF image files. So all I'm going to do is left click on download to download these converted images. I'm on Chrome. So if we look to the bottom left hand corner, you can see the images have downloaded as a zip file. And if we click on the arrow here next to our downloaded image files and then click on show in folder, you'll be taken to the download location of your converted images. To extract this zip file, you're going to need to unzip it using an extraction tool such as WinRAR. If you need a step-by-step -step video on how to download and install an extraction tool such as WinRAR, I'll put a link in the video description below and as a card at the top right hand corner of this video for you to watch. Once you've got your extraction tool installed, Right click on the zip file, then click on show more options. And for the options which say extract files, extract here and extract to, and then the name of the zip file, you're going to be selecting the third option, which is extract to and the name of your zip file. Left click on it to perform the extraction process. You'll know your images have been unzipped when you're greeted with a new folder with the same name as your zip folder, which in my case is Lorem. So all I'm going to do now is double click on it. And as you can see guys, we have two images that we have converted from our original PDF file. Each image file represents a page in our PDF file. That's why I have two images here. Before I preview these two images, I'm just going to right click on one of them and then click on properties to check that the type of file is a JPG file. And as you can see, it is indeed a JPG file, which is exactly what we wanted to convert to. And now all that's left to do is to double click on one of our converted images to see one of the pages from our PDF file. And we can use the arrow keys to flick between the two. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to convert PDF to JPG, PNG, or TIFF image file formats online for free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so